Yeah, alright fuckers and fuckettes, um, now, a lot of times you need to make a bracket or something and you need threads in the hole, well, believe it or not, I've had somebody that didn't know what taps and dies were, this is a tap, obviously you'd use a die, well I got one right here, obviously you'd use a die to um, if you had a piece of rod you wanted to put some threads on. But, believe it or not, there's kids that never went to Votech and never had a daddy that raised them right, and never had a mama to give them good tools for the Christmas presents. You know, all these modern parents, they want to give their kids fucking PlayStations instead of tools. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with people today. So anyway, if you want to get some threads in the hole, now, some guys, they like to go in dry. Yeah, that's... Go on ahead and work that some bitch in. You get it in just a little bit, and the bitch gets stuck, and then you gotta work it, and you're fucking up your tap. Me, I'm a firm believer in lubrication. When you're going in that hole, you want some lubrication in there, and you want some lubrication on what you're putting in there. So, now some guys will tell you use number one gold cutting oil. Some guys will tell you use butter cut. Um, everybody's got their own preference. My preference is gear oil. Um, don't know why. It's just it's worked well for me for many years. That's all I use. All right, let me rephrase that. That's all I use on aluminum on steel. It depends on the steel and it depends on how big of a hole I'm tapping out. Um, but you see, now that I got that lubrication in there, I still have to back off. See, and what you're doing when you're backing off is you're cleaning the threads behind you, getting all that crap out of there because as you run through here, that crap is getting caught in them teeth in there. And now I drilled these out the way they're supposed to be. Six millimeter hole. I did a um, five, uh, 5 5.65 millimeter drill bit to make these holes. So I mean my threads ain't gonna be deep deep and my hole ain't too tight but it's a good tight hole. You like a good tight hole because the tighter the hole the, the more the threads you're going to cut in there. It's a little bit extra work, but trust me, you don't want the hole too tight. You want the hole too tight. You get the hole too tight, you fuck up your shit, and you take all night. You get a nice loose hole, and you ain't going to get no threads in that hole. You know, you ain't going to leave nothing in there. You get a hole, a hole like this where it's just perfect, it's nice and tight, but the bitch ain't loose, you're going to have some good threads in there when you're done. Now, I'm already through enough to where I don't even have to back off and clean it anymore. In case you're wondering what grade of aluminum this is, fuck, I don't know, it says 6063 on the package and I ordered 6061. Um, and normally I expect to see a T on that number and I don't see a T on the number on the package. Run your tap all the way through. Stop. Back up. Clean it. Don't let it go all the way all the way through. Leave one or two threads catch so you can bring it back this way. you won't bet I just tap this bitch out fine thread and I need coarse. <laughs> I bet I just fucked myself. 
Nope, I did it good. Alright, now, I'm not done yet. Keep you one bolt, one hole, one brand new bolt. One hole, one brand new bolt goes in the trash when you're done. Hold on a second, I can grab an 8 millimeter here. By the way, all you motherfuckers that was betting against me there, um, just go on ahead and send me my money. All y'all motherfuckers that was betting with me, hell, we'll split with the ones, we'll, we'll split with the ones that sent, that was betting against send in, alright? How's that? In case y'all are wondering what I'm making, this uh, 97 VT 1100, the um, coil brackets are angled out instead of straight down. And I need them straight because it's putting the um, coil towers into the fucking frame, and I don't like that. I'm putting XL Super Coils in there. Of course, y'all knew that. I don't do nothing that doesn't get a set of decent coils. Well, okay, every now and then I do, but I try not to. Now, that hole's already lubricated inside because shit spilled on it, but I need some uh, I need some new lube on what I'm sticking in the hole. And that one I kind of half-ass had it started, so that's why I'm doing this second one. I'm just going to start it fresh so you can see starting a fresh one ain't shit. And before I do that, I need to... Give that a little crank there. Make sure that my shit's good and solid. And you don't put a whole lot of pressure on these. Keep them straight up and down as you can. Let them dig them first couple of threads. Start your wobble. Just as it catches, back off and clean up a little bit. As it catches, back off and clean up a little bit. Caught me. Back off and clean up a couple of turns because that one caught me good. Now the reason you back off and you don't try and muscle that shit through is if you snap one of these fucking taps in there, it is harder to drill them out than it is to drill out a damn easy out. And I broke easy outs in there too. But thankfully over the years, I don't think I've broke a tap in one probably once since I was about 12. In case anybody else is making a bracket for a VT1100 to put the coils in. Um, hell, where did I put that? I just had it in my hand. But what I'm going to do to make up for on this center one, to make up for the height versus the stock bracket, is I'm going to use some fat wall bushing stock. I haven't decided what yet, but I've got some fat wall bushing stock around here. I know will work. That's what I'm going to use. Am I going to weld it to this shit? Probably not. I'm probably just going to bolt it to, the, bolt it, to it. Um, but I am going to use good high grade, grade 8 bolts.
Okay, so that one went in all the way from the beginning. You saw me start it. You can see I got it going. To... My T handle was a little bit off because, I don't know, that fucking thing's always a little bit off, but my um, tap is going straight up and down, so I'm good with this. If I had an old tap around, I'd go on ahead and do a dry hole all the way just to show you. I mean, it can be done, but it's a pain in the ass to do it. I always put some lubrication in there. I mean, it don't matter. I can put Marvel Mystery Oil in one of these, and it'll still cut good. I've had the best luck with gear oil for this. Like I say, everybody's got their preference. Some guys like regular motor oil. Some guys like transmission fluid. Some guys like them fancy, you know, number one gold and buttercut and shit like that. Now, I like buttercut on my saw. Um, you know, my drill press with a pump, I like buttercut on there. All that shit on there. As far as cleaning them ridges up, yeah, that'll happen in a minute. Let me go on ahead and get the next one started, and I'm going to shut this. Actually, I'm just going to stick this in here because that'll remind me that i got to put the bolt in there. But there you go, fuckers and fuckettes. That's how you do that shit. Um, and this is, these will work. I, the guy couldn't get me any um, half by half aluminum stock because nobody here locally has it. And I was going to try and do it out of some round, but I have a issue right now with my mill vise is fine, but my table on my drill press, I've got to put a new shim in there to fix that. It's wiggling around again. So anyway, um, I'm not drilling any round stock to make brackets out of, although that would have looked cool as hell. So all right, we'll holler at y'all fuckers and fuckettes later, and uh, for all you women who keep sending me t-shirts and shit, well, here's my latest t-shirt that's been sent to me. Wait a minute. All right, now can you read that? I'm so old I can't remember where my nuts are, and it's got a squirrel in there. You gotta love these women to come up with these shirts. I mean, you know, they don't never come up with nothing that says Moroso, Mallory, XL, or nothing like that, but um, they always come up with some pretty cool, funny shit. So, alright, we'll holler at y'all fuckers and fuckettes later.